Hey everyone, it's about 10 o'clock at night. I'm finally able to uh, test out my new sleeping bag, a new sleeping pad. And um, for months I have did research and finally settled on what I would feel would be best in my pack. Um, it's January 31st, 2015. It's about 10 o'clock at night, finally settling in. Um, my sleeping pad is a big Actinus Q Core ins insulated. Um, the size is regular, um, about 4 inches thick, and the R value is about 5. Picked it up off of eBay uh, for about $90. That's a pretty good deal. But I think it's originally $140, uh, brand new. Um, as you know about the sleeping pads, uh, when it gets real cold it deflates, but it only took a few seconds to blow it back up. Um, the sleeping pad, or excuse me, the sleeping bag, um, I picked up a REI Igneo, um, originally 300 um, picked it up for 190 um, it's a mummy style. Uh, ultra light, I think it's like a pound, either a pound 14 ounces, pound 15 ounces. Very lightweight, very comfortable, extremely warm. Um, other than I just have wool socks, sweatpants, sweatshirt on, and a, and a beanie. But being 30 degrees out, I am toasty in here. It's extremely warm. But, um, uh, more reviews of how the sleeping bag and the sleeping pad will hold up in different types of temperatures and uh, weather conditions. Uh, more to come. And we'll see you all in the morning and let you know how the sleeping pad and the bag held up. Alright, good night. Good morning. It's about uh, 6 a.m., about 32 degrees. Um, so it's warmed up a few degrees over the night, but. Very, very comfortable sleeping pad. Very comfortable sleeping bag. Um, again, the sleeping pad is a Big Agnes Q Core insulated. Um, it's about four inches thick. Very comfortable, never deflated over the night. Um, had a w slept for about eight hours. I have nothing but great things to say about the sleeping pad and then the sleeping bag. I have stayed warm all night long. Um, slept great in it. Stayed warm. Um, the only thing which is normal is where we're, this little part um, in front of my mouth had a little bit of condensation just from, you know, um, from breathing, but. And the great thing is it never, or the condensation never uh, rolled back. Just somehow just stayed in place. So it never bothered me. Um, no condensation anywhere else on the uh, sleeping bag. So, uh, night number one and 30 degrees, uh, clear skies. So more weather conditions, sleeping conditions coming up to test this bag out. But night number one, success. I definitely get this bag. Um, the sleeping bag is an REI uh, Igneo. Um, it's a mummy style, as you can tell. Um, <coughs> it's ultra light. It's about a pound 15 ounces, I believe. Pound 14 ounces. So. Alright, until next time. Hey everyone. So I just wanted to talk about my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag and why I went with them. Uh, first, I want to talk about the one that I did have, which was the Thermarest ProLite Plus. 
and I'll have all the specifications up on the screen for you. Um, the reason why I chose this at first, I kind of consider myself a uh, ultralight hiker. Um, however, uh, being an inch and a half thick, the R value is a 2. It just didn't get me up off the ground. It, it wasn't warm. Uh, even though it says four season, it just was not comfortable for me. It has a lot of wonderful reviews on several different websites, but it just wasn't for me. And another reason was I'm a side sleeper, and being an inch and a half thick, it just wasn't for me. So I upgraded to a Big Agnes Q Core insulated sleeping pad. It's four inches thick, whereas the Thermarest Pro Light is inch and a half thick. Um, as you know, in cold weather, it deflates a little bit, but being four inches thick, uh, it did deflate a little bit. However, not enough that you wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning and you're sleeping on the ground. <clears throat> Just a very comfortable sleeping pad if you're a side sleeper. Uh, again, specifications will be up on the screen for you for the pad and the bag. Um, decided to try this out for the first time. I've had it for a while. But I've been able to finally get out and get the uh, sleeping pad and the sleeping bag out and test it and I have wonderful things to say about it. Picked it up off of eBay, brand new for 90 bucks. Whereas in the store it's 140, and this is the the sleeping pad is a regular the size that is. And on to the sleeping bag. Decided to go with a REI Igneo. Um it's a regular size. Again, specifications will be up on the screen for you. Um, it is a pound 13 ounces. Uh, the temperature rating for men is 19 degrees. And for women, it is 29 degrees if you decide to go with that. So the other night, I tested the two out in clear skies. And it dipped down into the low 30s. Actually, uh... The low was 29, and then in the morning it, it warmed up a little bit and it got up to about 31 degrees. <clears throat> really comfortable sleeping bag. I'm five foot ten, and I had plenty of room in it, even with uh, thick layers on. Uh, very comfortable, very warm. I have no complaints about this sleeping bag. Uh, they had a sale. REI had a sale. It was originally $3.99 and I picked it up for $190. So the two together, $280. The only complaint that people had was the zipper. Um, having only tried this for uh, one time, I've had no issues getting the sleeping bag opened when I was in it no issues whatsoever extremely warm um, the only thing that I would have to say and it's it's a it's you know it's a common thing is right here right where your uh, mouth is you know breathing uh, there's some condensation that will kind of build up right here, but the great thing is it never rolled back and it wasn't enough that it was, it became like a waterfall or anything. <clears throat> so that was the only thing. That's just a normal thing in cold weather or extremely hot, but I probably wouldn't use this bag in the summertime. It's extremely warm. So, the sleeping pad weight is a pound, 
I want to say it's I think it's a pound 14 ounces but again I'll have that up and then the sleeping pad or excuse me sleeping bag is a uh, is a pound 13 ounces I think that's right but uh, so those are the two I'm going to continue testing them in other weather conditions and uh, different temperatures so once I see snow in the forecast or high winds colder temperatures down to the, to the teens or the single digits I'm going to test it out even if it gets down to the single digits I'm just going to put a uh, emergency blanket inside the sleeping bag as a liner to bring it down to probably nine degrees for the bag so um, real quick about the sleeping pad when it did deflate it took two breaths to blow it back up it was and again when, when blowing it up it only takes about a minute if that whereas the thermal rest when I one reason I chose to go with it is because it's self inflating whereas the big Agnes you have to manually inflate the pad so if you're a side sleeper get a thicker mattress and get up off the ground if uh, you're an extreme ultralight hiker go with a thermo rest pro light it's 22 ounces um, a lot of wonderful reviews for each product so it's just a, a choice of uh, what type of choice that you choose for weather conditions and uh, temperatures that you usually hike in I find myself hiking between fall and early spring more so between November and March is those those are the months that I find myself usually hiking in all right if you have any questions leave them below take care